yeah. and spanking the monkey. Right. Yeah. Why would she want that? You deserve her. We could have this. show that believes that wearing a military uniform does improve your chances of getting on the prices right. I'm John Enson, and I welcome you all to come on down! Hey, the, I don't know if you guys heard about this yet this morning, but uh, apparently two 18-year-old kids are planning on losing their virginities over the Internet. Oh, romance. I, uh, I heard it on the radio this morning. Apparently the big event is going to take place the first week in August. Whoa. They're scheduling the loss of their virginity. You know, right now August looks good for them, but it is subject to change. Uh, apparently politicians are all over these kids criticizing them. And you have to understand, folks, it is a... Just a tawdry exploitation of what should be a beautiful and private union. Does that cost anything? Is there a cover charge? Can we find out what the URL is on that? Can we get an intern on that, please? I'm going to log I bet it's on Yahoo. Huh? Or maybe Excite. <laughs> I bet. In related news, Marv Albert got rehired. God bless him. The voice of the Knicks is back. No real joke there, folks. Just... A little gratitude, and I'm sure he'll be losing something on the net real soon. Mm. On today's Wired show, the national hollering champion lets it all out. Sarah Jessica Parker has relations with Ferris Bueller. And there's a reason baby food is just for babies. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, they, they don't have highly developed taste buds. First up, if Eli Whitney had a decent personal hygiene habit, he would have wiped himself with cotton toilet paper. Small children and C students take note. Eli Whitney was the inventor of the cotton gin. And since I'm tossing to a clip about a newfangled cotton toilet paper, that was funny. <laughs> CBS This Morning correspondent Herb Weisbaum has all the gritty details. It looks like toilet paper, but there's not one shred of wood fiber in this product. Purely cotton is the first toilet tissue made from 100% cotton. Because cotton is naturally soft, there's no need to treat it with chemicals the way you do wood fiber. Purely cotton promises to pamper you where you need it most, and all for just a few extra pennies a roll. Purely cotton is the creation of Tim and Willie Patterson Brown, Scottish brothers who now live in Seattle. Yes, hi, it's Tim. Is Ken there? We caught up with these two inventors at corporate headquarters. So where would you put your company if you made bathroom products? If you were Tim and Willie, you'd choose a building located here, at First and John. It's an enjoyable business. Fun, yes, but Tim and Willie are men on a mission to convince American consumers it's time to change their bathroom habits. And I've got to tell you, they have a mighty convincing sales pitch. Well, if you think about it, for your entire life, you've been using a tissue product that is made from that, made from wood. We make cars from that. What would you rather use on your personal hygiene? Well, I think I'd rather use whatever's cheapest, Willie. It's your ass, not your face. Okay? Only my girlfriend and my butcher see it. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, oh come on. Well, okay, we'll move along. Monday, it's more news and interviews from those nutty folks at CBS this morning. Whether it's Jane Robilou, Mark McEwen, or that dreamy Jose diaz Bellart, somebody's always got something to say about something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By next week, the entire nation will know about Ben Stiller's masturbation scene and there's something about Mary. Rumor has it it's a classic, though it made Ben's experience at the movie's premiere kind of unsettling. After all, his parents were there. Barbara Walters, ask him about it, won't you? Yeah. Your mother and father mm -hmm. went to see it last night, and they have a very good uh, sense of humor. And there they are. Of course, we all, we all know Mirror and Stiller. Uh, um, but they are still mommy and daddy. What yes. was it like when you sat with them last night? They hadn't seen the movie. Right. They hadn't seen the movie, and the Farrelly brothers, who directed the movie, uh, are from Rhode Island, and we shot part of the movie in Rhode Island, so they had a big premiere up there, and my folks came up. I didn't have the guts to sit on the same row as my mother. I mean, just, you know, because you don't want to be sitting next to your mom while you're watching yourself 40 feet on the screen. Doing you know, these things. Flogging the dolphin or yeah. whatever you want to call it. Somehow I like that better than, than my expression. <laughs> yeah, there's okay. all sorts of... So yeah. what happened anyway, after it? it? You know, they were fine with it. I actually heard my mom laughing and, and uh, you know, it's a surreal experience. It's really surreal. And, and they were very cool about it. I got to give them credit. 
it's you know I, I I think I was less cool about it. It's, it's one of those things when you do it in the film, you just kind of you don't think that it's you kind of you get you get into like a really state of denial. It? Did you really do it? Did I really film? do what? That, <laughs> what did you call it? Uh, uh, flogging the dolphin, yeah. spanking the monkey. Uh, did, you, uh, did you did you really do it? No, Barbara. <laughs> Jeez, lay off the line of questioning, Barbara. I don't want to hear the word masturbation from you, all right? That's Meredith's job, for God's sake. Monday on The View. Join the ladies as they put another celebrity guest in the hot seat. Maybe they'll talk about deadly. <laughs> Jim and Terry have been married for four years. According to the Sally highlight, we're supposed to be surprised since they look like complete opposites. Hey, it worked for Woody and Soon Yi. And don't forget about the once controversial Tesh Selica union. Yeah, love always seems to find a way. Even between a six foot five Cadillac driving bar fly and his five foot one, 200 pound Jewish princess. Here they are describing Jim's surprise April Fool's proposal. We're in the bar and half the night he's saying, let's go to Michigan. Finally, I'm, what's Michigan? He says, it's like Vegas. You go, you get married. So I looked at him and I said, you know, that's serious to me. Shut up. Now it's like 20 minutes later, and he, in the bar, he gets down. Wait, and about eight months now, I got to know her, you know. Wait, wait, and, uh, wait, uh, wait, wait. Could I just, it's only in our program. Oh, no, wait. It's almost over. This is the best part. He gets down. Okay. And... No, wait, no, no. I don't know. As you, as you did earlier, I seen that, that knee thing. It, it, it hit the ground. It, it won't do it again, but it bent. And I looked up at her with such love in my eye, you know, and I'm on my knee, and I said, honey, I love you. Will you marry me? And she looked at me, and she goes, Get up, you're embarrassing me. I smacked him in the head. Mm -hmm. I thought he was playing a joke, so I smacked him in the head. Wait, we're going to the next? Why the way? Let me, let me tell you something that... Wait, wait, I... I've got to just finish this one little thing. Then it's... The... <laughs> wait, then the, the next thing I know, I hear the bar's dead silent. It's ladies' night. There's 300 people in this bar. And I hear, hey! I turn around. The dance floor is cleared. There's one spotlight. This man on one knee with a microphone Aww. in front of 300 people saying, I love you, babe. Will you marry me? Could you pick? Could you pick with me, speechless? I've been trying to for the last minute and 12 seconds. <laughs> Monday, Sally interviews women who say they're too ugly to live. They feel so unattractive they can't bear for anyone else to see them. We have just begun to annoy you, but I promise it'll get much, much worse. <laughs> On the way, an all-girl threesome results in partial nudity. And Gary Chapman whips up some baby food. But after the break, the national hollering champion performs what he calls a lost art. I hear a distress holler. Go ahead. Somebody drops out, and you know, like, woo, woo, woo! Drugs, depression, death. You can bet we're not in Kansas anymore. I'm A.J. Benza, host of Mysteries and Scandals. Join me as we expose the turbulent life of a Hollywood legend. Judy Garland took us over the rainbow but never found her way to happiness. After five failed marriages, 30 suicide attempts, and a lifetime of drug abuse, Judy finally died of an overdose. Why did this beloved star self-destruct? Mysteries and Scandals reveals the secrets of Judy Garland. This Monday at 9, Eastern and Pacific, only on E. Fame ain't the bitch. Academy Award nominee Samuel L. Jackson is a negotiator forced to take the police hostage. You are not in control! Academy Award winner Kevin Spacey is the negotiator forced to deal with him. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Now, if they can trust each other... I can't hold them back anymore. They're coming up. These two men... Thank you, ...are about to make a very unusual offer. Now you're going to have to deal with both of us. The Negotiator. Rated R. Negotiations begin July 29th. Got a clog? Get the best clog remover. Is it Liquid Plumber or Drano? Actually, professional strength Liquid Plumber clog remover works twice as fast. Yes, there is a best. A day at the beach in a diaper is no day at the beach. So Huggies introduces Little Swimmer's disposable swim pants. They don't swell up like diapers or training pants, and little swimmers with leak guards are designed to protect as you play in the water. New for girls and boys, little swimmers make the water big fun. Dip into summer beauty with the July issue of Allure magazine, jam-packed with the hottest tips and tricks to help combat sun-damaged hair, ease up on blow-drying, and always prepare for the unexpected. Check out the July issue of Allure on newsstands now. Women love shampooing.
with clear outlier valescences, reveling in the natural botanicals and organic oh, herbs. Yes, yes. But we'd also like to remind you, yes. men like it too. Herbal essences, a totally organic experience. I absolutely had to lose 25 pounds, and I did it. Pounds off made it easy. Pounds off, the complete and balanced meal replacement bar is delicious, and it works. Try it and see. Pounds Off is now available at Walgreens. This portion of E was brought to you by Pounds Off. Delicious Pounds Off bars. The complete meal replacement that helps you lose weight fast. Pounds Off. Available in stores everywhere. First thing that you need to do is wear a tie. And the second thing that you need to do is ease up on the drug references. What's up? I had a tie. But I, I used it to patch the hole in my bong! <laughs> when he's not pushing crap as a fertilizer salesman, Gregory Johnson's screaming at the top of his lungs. A actually, let me correct myself. He's not screaming. He's hollering. You see, Gregory, the national hollering champion, believes there's a distinct difference between the two. I'll bet you a Slurpee he brings that up in this Tonight Show clip. They holler when they got in trouble. Yeah. They had distress hollers. A distress holler. Right. Now, what would it do? Okay, you're in trouble. I'm over here. I'm uh, hoeing a field or something. And I, I hear a distress holler. Go ahead. Somebody drops out, and you holler, whoo, whoo, whoo! I do believe Greg's in trouble, Kev. <laughs> was, yeah. Right. Some people say they were the first sirens. Oh, the first siren. Well, that does sound like a siren. Right. And, and what was the other thing you talking about? A locator holler. What right. When somebody knew you were in trouble, you had to use a locator holler. And a locator holler, somebody that heard your distress holler, would holler back, And then you'd go, And they could locate where you were. Now, how about if you're near a construction site and women are walking by? That could throw the whole thing off. It's like, Oh, a little goes a long way, doesn't it? Unfortunately, we have this bit of extra footage. Here's Gregory hollering the smash hit song, Jump Down, Turn Around, and Pick a Bale of Cotton. You do a little of that one? just too much for you to remember? Is that the thinking there? Is They have lyrics, you know, songs. You could also just, if you're hurt in a field, go, hey, over here I'm hurt. I need a little help. Somebody call an ambulance. <laughs> hey, look, Jay Moore, star of the new movie Mafia. He'll be telling us all about it on Monday's Tonight Show. No, Jay Moore, Jay Leno, J J J. I don't like that. Yeah, I need to get a John in there. Huh? Huh. Mm. Last week marked the passing of a late night family member. Sadly, Carl Oldie Olson staggered his way into the great hereafter last Friday. Conan prepared a moving tribute to the respected character actor. First, however, he dropped a couple of bombs, starting with the news that his real name wasn't Oldie Olson. It was William Preston. And he wasn't even that oldie. He was 77. 77! I ask you, does this guy look a day under 112? <laughs> Mr. Olsen. <laughs> Roy Elmore grounds to the pitcher, and Oli Olsen is caught in a rundown. <laughs> now, Andy, this has uh, happened before. Yeah, base running just is definitely not oldie's strength. No. Now, Olsen tries to evade the infielders. And uh, right here, he, he gets disoriented, and he runs into right field, where he's an easy out. This is uh, Oldie. I've oldie. Cool. This is Oldie also. Oh, oldie Hoy. Yeah. Oldie plays on a uh, uh, baseball team of ours, uh, sort of during that baseball stuff. He could do something for us. It's really nice to come out high, Oldie. Help.
Dennis Yoldi. Monday, Conan does the Irish guest and host thing when he invites Dennis Leary to the festivities. He was recently compensated for providing one of the voices in Small Soldiers. Gerber Baby Food is celebrating its 70th anniversary this year. That's 70 years of satisfying babies with mushy peas, cream spinach, and monkey brains. Huh? Oops, I meant mashed potatoes. <laughs> it's just our little secret, Gerber. Anyway, Gary Chapman decided to do a little commemoration of his own and whip up a batch of homemade baby food. Bon appetit. What would happen? What would happen indeed if you were to take a salad? You want to start with the salad, I'm talking. Oh, well, absolutely. Start with the salad and uh, then we'd go, okay. You'd want to have your baked potato to go with it. I think it'd be fine to have a baked potato. Well, I mean, if you're going to have a well round, there's a little starch. You got to have some carbs. You, yes, you got to have some Okay. Looks good to me. Mm -hmm. And you'd want to have a steak. You go ahead and get the steak. steak and I did wash my hands during the commercial, just for the record. Okay. So, okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, I tell you, there's nothing I'd like to see more than band leader Tim Akers forced to eat that mash. Yeah. I do this for you. I don't know. <laughs> because you want to work next week. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Huh? Oh, oh. oh, boy. There's nothing I'd like to see more than the band BR549 eat the mash. Yeah. Have some. No, really. What do we think? What do we think here, huh? Come on. Have yourself some of that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm thinking talk soup. Huh? <laughs> really? I'm thinking promo. <laughs> Monday is Old Dogs Night on Primetime Country. That would mean Mel Tillis, Bobby Bear, and Waylon Jennings, all of whom uh, hopefully are not offended at being likened to elderly crotch sniffers. Change the channel now, and I will personally send someone to your house to change it back. Do I have that kind of power? Still to come, Jill's lover flashes the Springer audience, and just ahead, Dennis Miller interviews the sultry Sarah Jessica Parker. Sit tight. She lived every teenager's dream. There were no rules. She had a rock star papa, a hit sitcom, and money to burn. She was very driven, even as a little girl. But Mackenzie Phillips also had an insatiable craving for cocaine. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. That was her life. And when she fell, she fell hard. I was so frightened of her. Hear the chilling account of Mackenzie's journey to hell and back from her famous friends and family members. It was like a fairy story gone wrong. Mackenzie Phillips, this Sunday at 8 Eastern and Pacific on the E! True Hollywood Story. It's the natural choice. Huggies Natural Care Unscented Baby Wipes. With fewer ingredients than any other wipe for soft, gentle cleansing every time. Which explains why so many babies choose to go natural. Hey, look at these strips from Pond's. Yeah, they're not just for noses anymore. This shade fits my forehead perfectly. They clean up your blackheads. Yeah, I'm just glad it's here and not on my face anymore. New Pond's clear pore strips for your face are the only ones contoured for foreheads, chins, cheeks, and noses. All in one box. They deep clean to unclog pores and gently lift blackheads away. Like a blackhead convention. Oh New clear pore strips contoured for your whole face. Bye-bye, blackheads! From the Pond's Institute. Cool feeling. Clean mint taste. Arm & Hammer Dental Care Gel with a patented baking soda formula. Cool mint taste plus long-lasting fresh breath. And that feeling of Arm & Hammer Gel. Feel the wow. You may find yourself strangely obsessed. Captivated. Mesmerized. You can't help it. It's beyond your control. You are not alone. There's something you need to find. Feed your need. Shark Week. Beginning Sunday, August 9th, 9 Eastern and Pacific, only on the Discovery Channel. Explore your world. Who says there's no good news on TV? First Union Sports Night brings you the best news, highlights, and features the sports world has to offer. Every
every night at 7 on Comcast Sportsnet. Get your first taste of the day's sports menu, as well as the most comprehensive preview of the sports night to come. Served to you better than you've ever seen by the Comcast Sportsnet crew. First Union Sports Night on Comcast Sportsnet, your sports network. You're watching Talk Soup, the show that wishes it had more midgets on its staff. I don't know. Just be fun with more midgets here. I'm John Henson. Sarah Jessica Parker is known for her terrific acting skills, her hourglass figure, and her marriage to Matthew Broderick. Matthew Broderick is known for his marriage to Sarah Jessica Parker, his hourglass figure, and his role as Ferris Bueller. There is. Just some info you're going to need for this clip from Dennis Miller. Now, how's married life? You happy? Very happy. Yeah, Very you got happy. a good husband there. I, I see you two together, and I always think you look really... Uh... <laughs> Put on a good show. No, <laughs> I just think you, you... You know, quite frankly, I don't want to say this to me, but you look like you adore him, and he looks like he adores you. You know, I don't know, can you still say that without making people feel sheepish? But... Uh, you really love him, right? Well, yeah, absolutely. He's a he's a fine good fellow. Guy. Ferris good... Bueller. You're betting Ferris <laughs> Ferris Bueller. Uh, <laughs> I never had thought of that. Well, <laughs> but believe... I guess it's true. Yeah, you're... It's like basically going to bed with an institution at this point. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for a certain generation. Yeah, an institution. <laughs> In related news, Hume Cronin is still alive. <laughs> Next week, Dennis Miller welcomes another celebrity guest. If you get HBO, tune in. If you don't get HBO, keep watching Talk Soup, and we'll probably show you a highlight. Because that's what we do, Tom. Yeah, we're, well, <laughs> we're not real good at it today. But, yeah, usually, yes, today, no. <laughs> Golfers aren't usually the most ripped of sportsmen. They're right up there with pro bowlers and bocce ballers in the body fat department. Which makes Hercules star Kevin Sorbo's love for the game so puzzling. In fact, I'm going to scratch my head right now. That done, enjoy this fine selection from Golf 2000 with Anne Ligori. Kevin, with your interest in golf, I would think we'd see a little golf in Hercules in one of the episodes. Well, I like to, um, I direct one episode per season. In the first episode we did, I, we, we, I, I like to put in, we discover some sport. So it's like an extra part of the scene we write in. And the first one we did, we discovered um, uh, surfing. Second one, we discovered uh, bowling. I where, where I was actually fighting off. I was, I, was covered, I was covered by these huge boulders, and all these guys wanted to make sure I was dead, because I'm Hercules. So it was like about six guys that pulled all these boulders off me, and I stood up, I talk, knocked out two guys right away. Four guys go running away, so I take a boulder about that big. I put a hole into it, I picked it up, and I bowled it after them. <laughs> And when the guys got hit, we put a bowling sound. The strikes, you know, hitting a strike on them. And then we've done baseball, and now we're going to do, I'm going to do one with golf. What do you where, think it's going to be like? Well, I, I envision it as maybe the guy's too far away. Like, it's like about seven, eight guys on horseback or something. Okay. And, I, and I'm running with a stick that I was just fighting with a bunch of other guys. And I, I see that it's like 500 yards away, and I just look down and see a boulder. I wind up, hit it, and it just ricochets off each head, and they all get knocked out. <laughs> I figured that'd be a good one. That would you know. be really fun. And then, or, and would you direct that episode? Actually, I think the, the idea, I think, is to put four guys that get hit, and then when it hits, it boom, 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 I go, huh, four. Sounds like an Emmy submission to me. <laughs> the tag information says that Sorbo had an aneurysm once. And we tried to find some comedy in that, but two hours into it, we just threw up our hands. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not a lot of funny there. Well, you've waited almost 25 minutes. Now your patience is about to be rewarded. In two shakes of a lamb's tail, you'll be treated to a little smut. Uh, here comes Jerry Guest and her incredible disappearing bikini top. You don't deserve her, okay? Why would she want that? You don't deserve her. She can have this. <sighs> Tired of the typical? Then escape to E for the summer you never expected. Hey, you don't just watch. You're there, baby. Picture it. A total fashion makeover. Who's that? Hollywood's new flavor of the moment? No, it's you at the biggest movie premieres, doing lunch with celebrities. Listen, we got all the true Hollywood stories and secret scandals of the stars. Oh, and the party's on E? It's like Hollywood exploded in your living room. E's summer escape hits anything but ordinary.
Hey, can't you just throw those in the dryer? You can if your dryer's not broken. Again. Well, Sears has all appliances and electronics on sale right now. I'm impressed. Well, there's more. You can get free delivery on selected appliances, too. So? You can hang this up. Sure can, but hurry, sale ends Saturday. Major hazard. You left the base without authorization. Proceeded to Burger King and ordered a... Rodeo burger? I've served this command for a Answer third. Answer the question! Did you order the rodeo burger? You're darn right I did. It was plain broiled and delicious. Burger King salutes small soldiers with a tasty new rodeo burger. Cheese, onion rings, bullseye barbecue sauce. Right now, part of the 99-cent great taste menu. That rodeo burger, it was pretty tasty, huh? You can't handle the rodeo burger. If you ask us, it just tastes better. 7-Up's hit the road game, where you can instantly win road trips, travel gear, or free 7-Up presents road hazards. Today's hazard, townies. So, like, where's the highway? Highway? <laughs> highway! <laughs> Are you sure I'm pretty? <laughs> Why don't you stick around for a while? Come here and die with me. Hey, boy! Are you hunting more? Watch for more road hazards this summer. What's that noise? And don't forget to grab a 7-Up and play 7-Up's Hit the Road Game. <laughs> will last 15 seconds. Now think about it. That's five seconds longer than it takes to clean your shower. Don't clean your shower. Get clean shower. How do you get healthy hair like this? Hair with this sheen and body, this texture, glow. Feature dark pedigree with new champion skin and coat system in every can and bag. This multi-nutrient formula works from the inside to help make your dark skin and coat the healthiest it can be. Pedigree with new Champion Skin and Coat System. Developed with the vets at the Waltham Center. Recommended by top breeders. Check out the chat on Talk Soup. Ask John about life and love, play concentration, or visit the photo gallery. Just type www.eonline.com or AOL keyword E. Welcome back. Sometimes I get the feeling that the members of Jerry's audience should have a two-drink minimum. Heck, make it a three-drink minimum. Yeah, That's three what drinks. I'd pay to see all those Springer guest strip teases in a real nudie bar. Mm -hmm. If I frequented that sort of establishment. Well, for whatever reason, Jill's two lovers can't seem to keep their clothes on in this highlight. Both Sparkle and Jill's ex <laughs> seem to think flashing will win the woman back. Watch you don't get that eye poked out now. So far, we've got sparkles and we've got fireworks, but we've got something else. <laughs> Becky, there's someone else here. Right, Your ex-lover. Let's bring out Becky's ex-lover. they're saying i can't see what they're doing i'm helen keller here i need the braille version of the jerry springer show tommy can you feel me <laughs> monday jerry my sister and i have sex i fear that anything else i say about the topic will be misconstrued as an endorsement so i'm gonna clam up tickle off on tomorrow's 100 percent longer weekend edition we'll show you what a funk playing a harmonica looks like 
And won't that be fun? Well, here's the part where I say goodbye, usually offering some trivial fact as a segue to my abrupt departure when I toss my script in the air. Until next time, remember this. Denerex goes on your head. Destinex goes on your feet. See you later, Norwegians.